I'm sorry, Mr. Gandhi, sir, but you're under arrest. On what charge? Sedition. You can't be serious. This man has just stopped a revolution. That's as may be. I only know what I'm charged to perform. I don't believe it. Even the British can't be that stupid. Pandiji, help me, please. Mira, you must look after Bob. If there is one protest, one riot, a disgrace of any kind, I will fast again. Amen. Yeah. I've been on many trips. <laughs> Mother. This is just another trip. I'm at your command. I know we are not ready for my kind of independence. If I'm sent to jail, perhaps that is the best protest our country can make at this time. And if it helps India, I've never refused His Majesty's hospitality. <laughs> Call the prisoner to the bar. has one aim, the overthrow of the government. Sedition must become our creed. We must give no quarter, nor can we expect any. Do you deny writing it? Not at all. And I will save the court's time, my lord, by stating under oath that to this day I believe non-cooperation with evil is a duty and that British rule of India is evil. The prosecution rests, my lord. I presume you are conducting your own defense, Mr. Gandhi. I have no defense, my lord. I'm guilty as charged. And if you truly believe in the system of law you administer in my country, you must inflict on me the severest penalty possible. It is impossible for me to ignore that you are in a different category from any person I have ever tried. Or I'm likely to try. Nevertheless, it is my duty to sentence you to six years imprisonment. If, however, His Majesty's government should, at some later date, see fit to reduce the term. No one will be better pleased than I. Mm -hmm. 